This is Charlie and today we're going to take a look at a security system, a caller security system with night vision. It's, it's, it's from Bunker Hill. And this, so again, this, is a, this comes with a flat panel monitor with adjustable picture and audio. You have video and audio for use with a second monitor or VCR so you can connect that that monitor to a second monitor VR. Yeah. Uh, this comes with uh, also 360 swivel camera mount, comes with two piece input cable. Um, normally they come with like 80 foot length of, um, of cable. So that's a lot of cable that you can run almost around your house if you, if you have to. And these are the different ways that you can mount, you can mount it. Um, they're pretty easy to mount, you just have to find the right place. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's 120 AC. So you have to plug it in, but the camera gets it. It um, the camera itself, as far as I know, they get the power from from the monitor. So you don't have to worry about that. So you just run one cable, and that will give it. That will give you output and input at the same time. So for the price, this I got at Harbor Freight, and I pick it up for seventy nine dollars. It's on sale now for seventy nine dollars. It used to be ninety nine dollars. AC adapter. Put your plug for your power. And we have a, everything is separated in boxes in there. So there we go. You have your, your instruction manual right here. And we're gonna open this up and this probably should be the monitor. I know it's not yet. So here you go with the cable and I'm thinking this is probably 80, uh, 80 foot cable. So you can see it comes with the, with, the, with, the, with the power, with the power on here, and you have your video and your audio supply in and out right here. So you're gonna, you should have two of these, and yes, you do. One for each camera, and then the monitor is oh, pretty small, pretty small monitor. You can see it's a pretty small monitor, but the good thing about it is you can hook this up to a secondary monitor. I thought it was a little bigger than that. And you have a little bit of. You can open it up, and put it to stand like that. You have your power, your auto, your manual, your mute button. So you you definitely definitely have audio on there. You also have extra cables. You put extra cables here so that you can plug it to a secondary monitor and make use of that. So this should be a color monitor. So there you go. You rip that off. And I'm planning to probably I don't know we'll see how we'll, we'll see how that work or I might use it I may use an extra monitor that I have lying around. So here you have your your AV out there. You have your DC 12 volts right here. AV1, AV2. So I think that's where these these come in. So that's where these come in. This goes in there, right in there like this, and this will plug. And this will go into the different ones, different those there. There's nothing on the side, nothing on top, nothing at the bottom. So that's basically it at the back. You have both cameras goes in there. So those cables here. And it looks it's pretty light. And it's, as you can see in my hands, it's pretty small. I mean next to a <laughs> it's so funny. This this the screen on the on the um on the note four. This should be the really cameras. Bigger. In there. So they give you a bunch of screws and then the cameras you can see the cameras are pretty small cameras. It's so crazy that it's it's a really compact camera. Come cover a cover on there and everything. These are really good cameras. I've used those cameras before. They make pretty good cameras. I can I, I can assure you that. Um, they can move back and forth, or you have a cover that you can bring in case of for sunlight or whatever to protect it for protection. And you have areas right here you can screw screw it up. So it comes with two cameras. So let's go ahead and bounce and mount this baby up. So really all you're doing is you have your lines, you're gonna figure out where you wanna run your stuff, where you wanna put your cameras. I'm thinking I'm thinking of putting them in front of the house so I'll have to get, get the right spot and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, here I am in the garage and I've made a hole up there to get the wires into the bedroom. 
and I've run my cables and I've, I haven't connected this one yet but this one over there I have this one up here facing as you can see it it's gonna be facing the front door so that's the view to be getting if somebody come and knock my door and hopefully I get a bigger view a good view of that area so we have that one there we just have to make sure it works properly so this is the one that we're gonna put now so this is the wire right here so we're gonna get the wire we're gonna get the wires and we're gonna plug the power in so that's where the power goes and the yellow into yellow white into white and we're just going to screw this up and just take out the cap so that's what we're gonna do right now let's screw it up and we'll go from there We have this pull here. We're just gonna hide the wires underneath, make sure it looks a little we have presentable. Everything plugged in at the back, you just plug this in. Like I when you're unboxing, we showed you all the wires gonna come in. Um, power supply. Uh, yellow and white. Okay, so I'm gonna plug the power supply in there. And A power supply goes on the side and you also have you can plug this here and plug this into a television also oh here we go already this is perfect so here we are um, I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm in the bedroom right now and as you can see the cameras are outside like it should it's night time right now it's dark outside everything is working working properly and right here side. I can connect a second monitor so that's what I might do on the side here I can connect a second monitor right here and have a big a big monitor connected and I can really put that somewhere put that away somewhere and have that as a secondary you know so that's what unit. I think I might go ahead and do for now so so far it's working really good and the controls finally that's the auto the auto right here will make it switch between screens and this is a manual if you want to quickly go from one screen to the next on your own you have the mute button right here so right now you have audio from the outside right here you also have uh, let's see if i can work this out you also has a menu button right here which i haven't tried yet but i guess when you pray I, I press the menu button oh here we go so you can control the contrast and And all the other stuff I can, I can bring up the volume right here so we can switch there's a sleeper that you can put you can put you can time it to go on and off so here you can set it right here it is I connect it to a monitor oh there's a cat a cat walking across but I connect it to the monitor and it's 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 just mirroring whatever that small screen is doing. If we look down there we can see an intruder right there. 